Hello and welcome to Mickey Art. My name's Michelle Edhouse and today I'm painting on this record butterfly. Um, at one of the beautiful women in our local co-op of artists cut out and taught me and you guys <laughs> um, how to cut. So I looked at this and I'm like it's orange okay uh what do we do with this one now one of my favorite types of butterfly is the monarch butterfly and so that's what we're doing today um I love 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 love, love the monarch butterfly and have done for years and years I think I've told you this before um, and um, ugh. what I what I love about the monarch is there's actually no white in its wings it is I've got way too much paint on here off you go um, look at this what a waste put it back in the pot um, it's all orange and black and yellow so that's what we're going with today orange and black and yellow now Um, so I've already put down the black. What I would like to play with is that um, in my last video, was it my last one? I think so. Um, I sprayed some silicon onto the top and it made these really cool cells. Hundreds of thousands of them. <laughs> um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to play with that. Oh, you know all that paint that I saved by scraping back into the pot and I spilt it. Okay, I'll scrape back into the pot again. All right, so um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to do lots of layers of paint and I'm using yellow okra and vermilion orange and then bang crash wallop thump I'm a noisy woman today a spray <coughs> make sure you're in a ventilated room if you try this uh, hmm. I think I, I might do is just take you over here so that you can see what I'm doing and a little bit more black Some more orange. Some more black, uh, yellow okra. And some more black. And then we're going to give that a one, two. And then we're going to take it back over to here.
You will notice I go quiet when I'm concentrating. Well, we've definitely got the colours. Definitely got the colours. So let's see if we get some cells that we can then stretch. Not so much. Just being a little bit cautious about how much I heat I like it. It's funky. Okay. Very uneven. Not duplicated. I just had an idea for another video. <laughs> All right, there's a lot more black on this side and a lot more red, orange on this side. Um, but I'm gonna leave it and we'll see what happens when it dries, but I am gonna give it one more. I'm torching. I'm funny. All right, guys. I'm gonna let this dry, and I'll be back in three, two, one. Okay. So I thought this was dry. You guys have heard me say that before. <laughs> Oops. And it pretty much is like usually on records. I go by how sunken the hole in the middle is and this is looking really good so I picked it up and I picked it up with my thumb like that and look what I did so I'd already been asking whether it was finished and my awareness had told me that no it wasn't finished and so once that smeared I was like mm, okay what else is actually required here and I recognize that I'm not overly fussed with the the body not being slightly different so what I'm going to do is first of all I'm going to curve my wings all right so let's get the heat gun Small one. There's, there's my cellar Okay. So now we've got just that little bit of curve, so it just looks like. Imagine that sitting on your wall, that little bit of 3D effect, that looks cool. Now I'm going to fix that middle up. So what 
what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get a brush and this is quite a horse hair harsh kind of brush and I'm gonna do sort of like a dry brush type dabbing through that center And that's completely dis sub dis disguised the uh, not quite dry mess that I've just made, which is great. I like that. And that'll dry up nicely. That's awesome. That was easy. And then what I had the awareness of before um in my kit of kit of possibilities I've got some these are jewelry eye stemmy bits well not eye stemmy bits what am I talking about um they've got a little bit on the end yeah come on focus there we go to stop the bead falling off or whatever it is that you put on there and I thought you know they would make oops get the focus right Michelle they would make really cool um stemmy bits for their eyes <laughs> stemmy bits oh I've got some really cool words today what do you reckon so it's just, and they're not eyes, are they? They're antenna. I know, I know. So there you go. We've got our little, he's not going to post very well. <laughs> Bent like that. Let me give you an angle shot. He's got quite a bit of, quite a bit of angle on him. And my hands fits all the way under there. That's three fingers off the side and a couple of fingers off the side that side. I quite like him. So I'm going to glue those antenna on and he's call him done. And um, anyone that's coming near New Zealand. <laughs> Because I don't think this will want to be posted overseas. I could post it. I could definitely post it. That's easy to pack, actually. Hush, Michelle. That's easy to pack. So there you go, guys. There is my butterfly. And you know how just before, before I cut to let it dry, I said I had a really cool idea. Guess what's coming tomorrow? Yay, my really cool idea. All right, guys. I am going to put this back to finish drying, glue its little antenna on later. And uh, how does it get better than this? What's possible tomorrow? What magnificent idea did I have that I can share with you tomorrow? All right, guys. I adore you. Bye-bye.